What's up guys, it's your boy from here back in the video and today I'm gonna be reading uh, it's gonna be part two, so I'm gonna be reading what Gus Knight just posted and basically I'm gonna be reading it without uh you know whatever. So he said it's been a while since we've talked about the direction APOC two is heading and and so let me give everyone an update on what's going on lately and what we're planning. Latency battle. About a month ago, we pushed out one, one of our usual large updates, and with it, we increased the render distance or the view distance level equal to reborn settings. This changed gameplay dramatically and made it obvious that some guns are better at long range engagements than others. Unfortunately, this change also strains the game's network for various regions since this various reasons. Since this update, Hutch has been working hard to reduce the latency and increase the performance a lot has gone in that effort, but it's taking longer than expected until the issues are resolved. APOC 2 players might experience some occasional network lag. Pop Twisting 2 and its exploiters. Another topic I want to clear up is about ex exploits and AR2. Right away, I need to apologize to everyone who has who has mislead who has mislead by me over the last few years. Some players believe that APOC 2 is free of explorers or that it will be free of explorers once it will be released to the public, but that's not accurate or likely. If I made statements in the past that just APOC 2 would be impossible to exploit, then I did not have a complete understanding of what, what to expect. Now, after two years of Hutch successfully patch a wide var variety of client-side exploits, I think I... I can get some new expectations. Client slide exploits such as speed hacking, teleporting, walking on air, or anything else that a player could do to their own character will probably continue to appear in Apocalypse Rising 2 and they will continue to be patched as they become known. One on more than one occasion during Alpha we can we have seen exploits remain functional on APOC 2 for days to a week before we get a patch release. Sometimes it takes a week or more for an explorer to get around or patch, and sometimes it takes months. Nobody should believe that APOC 2 is invisible to exploits, but everyone should know that AR2 is far better prepared and easier to work with compared to the original game. We apologize for the inconvenience exploits caused, but we will continue doing our best in ways that weren't possible with APOC 1. So, another thing that's very exciting is plans for the map and then plans for the vehicles. This is, this is very exciting. So, he says for the plans for the map. Now, let's talk about future about the future the, for the map of Apocalypse 2. You should see some big, big additions. He says big additions this summer, which is really exciting because it's summer. Uh, including the civilian airport and the oil rig. So I'm really excited for the airport and the oil rig, so yeah. Both locations are structurally complete and are in the process of being furnished. The prison island is still being constructed as well, but it's slow to develop after the airport and oil rig are implemented. We, we will likely enter eight and on the largest island. I fully expect the terrain for the large island to be reconstructed or revamped basically and for some of its locations to be shifted around. The, ta the radio tower's position doesn't dominate as much as it should. For example, eventually once the base map is more or less complete, we will begin our details pass for the map. We will add signs, posts, fences, textures, and many other new objects to flesh out the map. This is around the time you should start seeing games, buildings actually look like the ap an apocalypse has occurred, which I'm really excited as well, because it looks like nothing happened, the houses look like they're completely fine, no apocalypse happened, except there's no one inside. And then, plans for vehicle go vehicles, guys, this is very exciting. I've said before that vehicles are expected to be added in one of our next large updates and that's still the plan progress has been made in regard to their function for example we recently tested network replication you can see other people driving a car around repair repair function functionality is still in progress but i'll share some basic info about how i think vehicles should work in ar2 like apoc in apoc 2 Vehicles will have some will have components that can take damage such as a whole engine and fuel tank. Windows may still be shot out and tires may still be blown out. 
However, instead of carrying around multiple tires or windscreen glass boxes, players will use a tire repair kit or windscreen repair kit, which will take up less space and fix more than one tire slash window at a time. So, for example, one tire repair kit fixes two or three tires or whatever. Um, repairing the engine, tires, glass, and other components will be easier. In general, overall players should be able to get a vehicle running much faster than an APOC. I want upgrades to make to get a makeover too, though. Instead of applying reinforced glass or tires that could be completely destroyed, APOC 2 upgrades will be repairable with the regular repair kit. Repair kits mentioned above. So if you find re reinforced glass it and it gets shot out, sometime after you applied it to your truck, you may use a regular windscreen kit fi to fix it up. Of course, this means that upgrade will be upgrades will be pretty rare and valuable. Armor also fits into this category. If your vehicle armor is destroyed, then the regular hull hull repair kit will fix it up. That's the basics. But if you if you have suggestions, please post a comment. So last thing that in this post is the summary. So he says in the summary, I could go on about weapon skins and base building. Both topics aren't, but both topics aren't solid yet. So I won't ask for feedback until we are looking for it. Besides that, at the moment we are focused on latency and patching the latest exploits. The rest of the team are focused on their respective tasks for gun animations to map development. We've got some cool new content such as guns and outfits coming soon. While you wait for sub substantial updates, we're also playing around with a big new mechanic that might change the way Ap Apocalypse Rising 2 is played forever. So stay tuned for a feedback post on that. So I'm really excited for the big new mechanic. Maybe? Maybe it's, I don't know, guys. I actually don't know. Maybe cutting down trees, some, maybe? Um, I really don't know, but, yeah, uh, that is all the new, uh, well, that's, that's a lot to read, latency, but, dang, I read a lot. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, smash that subscribe button. Uh, my mouth is kind of sore now because I read all of that, but, uh, at least I got a video on guys <laughs> and uh, the tips video for AR2 is going to be the part 2 is going to be coming out tomorrow sorry uh, that I said it was will be a day after but I just couldn't do a day after because I had to make all these videos from Mad City and this as well so tomorrow most likely I will have the tips video unless something else happens that's very big for me so yep yeah, see ya